Hello, I'm Dave Absley with Ohio State University Extension. Today I'd like to introduce you to Virginia Pine. Virginia Pine is a native pine to Ohio and it is found here in the unglaciated Allegheny Plateau which is in the southeastern part of the state. Uh, the best way to identify Virginia Pine is by the needles. Like all the native pines to Ohio, the needles are in bundles or bunches. Virginia Pines happen to be in twos. The keys say the needles can be an inch and a half to three inches in length, but more typically they're closer to that inch and a half in length. And again, the needles are in bundles or bunches of two. They, they're somewhat V-shaped where they come together and they have this long fascicle sheath which holds the needles together. It's right at the base. Needles tend to also be twisted and a lot of times they're divergent. So they're going to spread apart making the V-shape. So think of V for Virginia Pine. Again, needles are twisted. They tend to not be that classic blue-green like you might find in Scott's Pine, but they're going to be more of a yellowish green. Again, yellowish green needles in twos, oftentimes for divergent and twisted is a great way to identify Virginia Pine. The new growth on the twigs of Virginia Pine tends to be a purplish color with kind of a waxy coat in the spring. Right now they're much darker colored than that. And then they have cones. Cones, again the keys say inch and a half to about three inches in length. But most of these are probably two inches or smaller. They tend to be more rounded. They don't have much of a stalk. They have very thin cone scales and they're very persistent. So when you look up at the crown of a Virginia pine tree, you're gonna find new cones out on the new growth, but you're also gonna find them further back on the stem. Sometimes you've got cones that are four, five, six years old that tend to be more grayish. Out here on the tip, they tend to be a more brown and they'll have this purplish fringe on the underside of these cone scales, another great ID characteristic. And then finally, right on the tip of the cone scale, you're gonna have a very sharp prickle so they're very sharp or heavily armed. Virginia pine has a typical pine bark, but when you get up into the upper portion of the, of the stem, it tends to be a more of an orangish color. Not quite as orange as my, that you might find with scotch pine, but it'll kind of have a rusty color to the upper part of the stem or trunk. They're also very poor self pruners, so they'll hang onto those low branches. Even though there may not be live foliage on those branches, they tend to hang onto those lower dead branches. We also call Virginia pine scrub pine because it typically invades areas that are abandoned. Um, very common in southern Ohio to have old agricultural fields that were heavily abused, poor nutrient quality, poor drainage, and they come in pure stands of Virginia pine. And when they do that, you'll have fairly straight stems, but they will always, almost always be very, self, very poorly self-pruned, so they'll hang on to those dead branches. Again, this is Virginia pine, also known as scrub pine. Thanks, and be sure to take at least part of your day to spend it in the woods.